There seems to be this obsession and burning desire for people to make real estate content about the housing market crashing. They want to be known as the person that was saying it all along. They've been doing it for years and it's especially true right now. Everyone is saying that the real estate market is going to crash. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my professional opinion of what would actually have to happen in order for the real estate market to crash. What's up guys? My name is Sean Connors and I'm the managing broker and co-owner of Vanguard Realty Alliance and we help agents build wealth through real estate. All right, let's dive into what would actually have to happen in order for the real estate market to crash. The first thing, and in my opinion, the most obvious thing that would have to happen is that we would need an influx in inventory. That means that we would need about six, seven, eight months worth of inventory. Right now in the Chester County and the greater Philadelphia area, we're at about one month. <laughs> one month, right? Maybe a little bit over one month. There is not that much inventory in this area. Now again, real estate is very specific, so you have to look at your area specifically to see what the uh, average monthly inventory is. But here, it's about one month or a little bit over, and I'm sure it's like that in most places in the country. So we would need to see an absolute influx of homes come on the market between now and next year for there to be a crash. Because it is a supply-driven economical factor that in order to to be in a more stable market, we're looking at about five or six months, and in, in order to be a buyer's market like it was in 2008 when the crash happened, it would have to be six, seven plus months of inventory. So that's a big factor in deciding or seeing if the market is going to crash, and it just doesn't seem likely. Like, think about it. How are we gonna go from one month of inventory up to six or 7% in a year? There would have to be a mass exodus of people deciding to sell their homes for something else, right? Builders would have to build 10 times as many homes as they're building. And if you look at the area that you're living in, especially here in Chester County, that is not going to happen. I can't foresee any issue that is going to cause all of these sellers to come out of the woodwork and just list their home. So that's the first and most important thing to think about. The second thing that would have to happen is home values would need to just plummet. They would have to drop significantly for there to be a market crash uh, or a housing market crash, right? So that means that if the average price in your area, say, say here, it's about $450,000, that would have to drop to like $350,000. So we're talking about an average decrease of $100,000 in home values, right? And with the inventory being where it is and the buyer demand being where it is, so inventory low, buyer demand is still very high, that would have to shift completely. So you can see that unless barring some major economic crash or meltdown that happens or uh, World War III or something like that, I just don't see home values plummeting $100,000 or more unless the first thing that we talked about, inventory shoots up and a lot of people are in their homes with these extremely favorable rates in the 2% or the 3% or even 4%, right? Because now we're at five and a half, six percent So why are they going to decide to all, all of a sudden list their home? So the home values, in my opinion, aren't going to just plummet, but that is an indicator. If they do, if we start to see home values just plummeting, then you're going to know that we are in a market crash. The third thing is that buyer demand would have to come down and decrease, and the days on market for properties would have to increase. Buyer demand is still very strong. The one sector of buyer demand that is taking the biggest hit is first time home buyers. And I was talking about this in my last video, but buyer demand would have to come down. People would just have to essentially stop wanting to buy homes, but life goes on. Situations happen, which cause people to want and need to buy homes. And I don't foresee any issue that is going to come up. And again, I don't know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I don't foresee any issue that's going to just drastically push so many people. I'm talking like 50% of the buyer pool would have to just back out all of a sudden. You know, well, one thing could be interest rates going up to 11%, but 
The fact is, again, life happens. Situations happen. People get new jobs, their families grow bigger, they want to downsize, right? So buyer demand would have to drastically come down from the level that it's at right now, and the days on market for properties would have to increase. So right now we're at about 17 or 18 days on market, which is pretty solid, right? And that would have to go up to three, four months for there to be any kind of major change that signals that the real estate market is crashing. And the fourth thing that would be a clear indicator of the market crashing is what I touched on earlier, and that's a major economic meltdown or something similar to World War III. These are something that just really rocks the stability of our country and our economy and the people in it. I don't believe that any of this is gonna happen. I don't believe a civil war is gonna happen even though people are talking about it, but something major that truly rocks the foundation of who we are as a country, that could put us into a real estate market crash. And I can't say, again, I can't say that it will happen, I can't say that it won't happen, but those major outliers, something similar to what happened in 2008 would have to repeat for us to be back in 2008. And everything that is happening that I'm seeing is not a clear indication that we are going to be in a housing market crash in the foreseeable future. I'm glad that I was able to clear the air with that because again, everyone talks about a market crash happening, but nobody really goes into detail to say what that would actually look like. But in my opinion, those are the major indicators. If you see that, then you have to be thinking that the real estate market is potentially headed for a crash. And if you don't see those indicators, don't listen to all the crap you're hearing, right? Talk to a real estate professional in your area that can help you, that can guide you, and you will feel more comfortable making whatever decision that is. So if you got any value from this video, do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit the like button, share, or comment below what you think is going to happen. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you need any help with buying, selling, or investing in the Chester County or surrounding areas, please reach out. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Have an awesome day.